Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah, and today we are gonna be working on a two foot by three foot inch canvas. It is um, uh, not a deep edge, but it's gallery wrapped, all taped off. I've got my push pins in, and uh, we're gonna do a couple of straight pours and wreck them on here. And the color palette I'm using is Payne's Gray, Mix two to one with Floetrol, so Floetrol two parts and Payne's Gray one part. I have a mix of Rose Quartz and what is this one? Rose Gold. So I mixed Rose Quartz and Rose Gold in together. And this is equal parts Floetrol to paint and it's the DecoArt Extreme Sheen series. Uh, this is uh, DecoArt Extreme Sheen Gold. Again, also equal parts Floetrol to paint. And uh, this is a mix of Sargent's Metallic Copper. And I added a little bit of Sachet Red by Modern Masters in there to deepen it up a bit. So I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to use that as it seems a little bit thinner than others, but we'll see. This here is a color you can no longer get as it's been discontinued by Mark Michaels. And I'm really sorry that I use it, but it is Art Minds Brush Metallic Sapphire. And I love this color. Um, and I've got a bunch of stock of it. Actually, I'm running out. So this is a few, few paintings in between where I'm gonna be able to use it before I run out fully. Um, so those are my colors and I'm using my white, which is two parts Floetrol, one part white, uh, Artist Loft Flow White or soft bodied white. And I've also added two scoops of satin enamel to this. And that satin enamel is DecoArts Americana in pure white. So that is our consistency, leaves some trace and the stick can stand up on its own in there. All right, so we're gonna layer up two cups. All right, I got four here. And I got two on the side just in case I need more. Um, and we are going to layer them. And I'm gonna put a little bit of copper in each one. That's the copper and sachet red mix. And then a little bit of the gold. And then we're gonna start pouring our white. All right, let me see. I'm gonna knock something over over here, so. And then I'm gonna come in with, actually, I don't wanna use that yet. I'm gonna come in with some of the Payne's Gray. And then the metallic sapphire. And the white. And I'm gonna do a little more white than color, I think, in this pour. Some gold. the rose quartz and um, whatever it's called, the rose gold. I always mix them up a bit. So I'm gonna come in with the copper after that. I want to do gold. And white. I'm going to do 
do a sapphire. So I tried to do mostly white, but uh, I think it's going to be an even mix of both color and white. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm recovering from a cold. And let's see. Maybe some of that. That. All right, so I think that's what we're going to do those and I have more paint available here, um, which will be good if I need to do another layered cup. I can do smaller cups if I want. So, move all this out of the way. And I am going to pour some of this white. And I am going to come in and start pouring. And I guess we're going to do a kiss pour. So we're going to separate and turn. All right, well, I guess at the last minute there, I decided to do a kiss pour, so. I really did not want um, the puddle of white to separate the two pieces. And I'm loving the details. So we're gonna come in. So rose gold can get a little muddy, and that is why I mixed it with um, the rose quartz. Torch going.
Got lots of air bubbles in there. E so excited about this piece. I want to play in here a little. So awesome. All right, so we need a flow extender. We do have plenty of paint on the canvas, I hope. But just in case. All right, okay, it looks awesome and crazy busy, but I promise it's gonna come out okay. So we're gonna go over here. down here. And back to the middle. Give it a torch. As I'm stretching it, more air bubbles are showing up and I wanna make sure there are not many left on the canvas. I'm gonna come right over here after we come to the center. Maybe push it off the, towards the edge a little bit. towards that corner. But not off. Oh, I got it. It did end up going off a little bit. So it has anchored in over there. I'm gonna try and come off this edge. I have to line my paint back up to middle, which is right there. Love this gold edge here. I am going to lose that, and that's okay. There's a lot going on in here. This area is so cool. So we're going to come back over to this corner again. I'm going to come back a little bit. There we go. That edge, that corner. Oh, this piece is so cool. 
Um, let me see. I'm gonna come off over here, I think. So doing these pours on a rectangular large canvas is not the easiest to do. So I don't really like this corner, this edge. So they get a little mucky. And come off over here on that center area. All right, I think I am done. I'm loving this. Let me see here. Yay, no paint. Um, I'm gonna clean up some of the corners and then we're gonna bring you guys in. Ah, look at this. This is so cool. I'm super pleased. And uh, yeah, I love uh, the subtle blue gray in there. It really balances it. And I love this area here with the rose quartz and uh, yeah, that other color. <laughs> um, but I'm super happy. It's gonna look amazing when it dries. Uh, so let's go over onto the other side. All right. Here we are. I just think it turned out really, really cool. And I'm super stoked about it. And I love this white area here. Look at all this detail. Happy girl in the copper with the sachet red in there. And over here so yeah so I can't wait to uh, show you guys this when it's dry so stay tuned